Previously, we looked at what is amplitude modulation. So now we're going to look a little bit more what is frequency modulation and then later compare how these two are similar or different. So take a guess. What, does, what is FM about? You modulate the frequency. You change or vary the frequency. So you look at this diagram with the same setup. You have some information over here, such as a voice, a music, uh, audio, or whatever you want to send. Uh. And you have a carrier signal, which is fixed. I mean, you choose the frequency. But what are we changing here? Hmm. Can you recognize from this diagram? Look at this on the top part here. When your displacement of your information is very large. Okay, so displacement. Large. Then I will say, okay, let us change or modulate the carrier's frequency to be higher. So I say larger frequency of your FM signal. I mean, you change the carrier la, to be larger frequency. So you track that down to the diagram below here. Okay, you add, modulate, not add, you modulate the carrier's frequency. You come down here, wow, very high frequency. Leh. This region is high frequency. Why did we change it to high frequency? Because of the information signal. So up here, the amplitude more kind of affects the frequency of your final FM signal. Let's look at another point. Let's say this minimum point. This displacement is very low. So this one, we are going to modulate the carrier so that uh, when here is displacement is very low I should say negative la. okay low then I will want a very lower very lower <laughs> lower frequency of your FM signal so you modulate your carrier such that you have a final product which is down there at the bottom your FM signal very low frequency like you see this one very spread out so here high frequency down here is a region of low frequency or lower frequency. That's the whole idea of frequency modulation. You use info to modulate the frequency of carrier signal to get the final thing. In summary, you can say that you have the same amplitude. See, the amplitude here is unchanged, right? But you have different frequencies. Let's also mark it out, okay? So here, if I draw the amplitude, yeah, same amplitude, no changing. So here you have same amplitude but varying frequency of your FM signal. Okay, so take a moment and compare that with your old one. Huh? AM, you look at the amplitude, keep changing. Ooh, why? Huh? Because of information. Oh? The information is encoded inside the amplitude. But the frequency is the same. Then you look at frequency modulation. Eh, amplitude is just the same only. Ah, but the frequency is now changing. That's the difference between these two. Okay. So how do we describe that in sentence if they ever ask us to describe? Well, we can say, firstly, that the amplitude remains, amplitude of the carrier wave remains constant. But what changes is the frequency so we can say that the frequency of the carrier wave is made to vary in synchrony with the displacement of the information. Okay, so note that down in your notes if you haven't got to. We say, miss, so FM got bandwidth also. Oh, it's not in syllabus. It's a little bit more complicated, so we are not going to talk about it. But now there is also FM bandwidth, a little, more, a little bit more complicated to calculate. Lah. Okay, so that's the idea of FM in comparison to AM. Now, before we learn more facts about AM and FM, let's go and look at the past year questions straight away to help us uh, see what kind of things we can calculate in for FM wave. This year is ON15, paper 4, variant 1, question 11. So if you want to be adventurous, pause the video, try it out first and see what you get. Then come back and we'll discuss through together. You can skip around if you know how to do it. But if not, stay tuned. So a carrier wave is frequency modulated. That should already tell you that's frequency modulation. Describe what it's meant. So define. 
definition is similar to AM. Like you just replace the words. So frequency of the carrier wave is modulated. To follow what? Ah? That's the part that is different. Modulated to vary. To change. To modulate means to vary. Uh, in synchrony means together. In synchrony with the information signal. So we write that out. Information signal. Aha, there we go. So this one is going to be M1 and A1. Next, the sinusoidal carrier wave. What is sinusoidal? Sinusoidal basically means this, this shape, uh, sine, cosine, th those kind of graph. Sinusoidal wave carrier has a frequency of 750 kilohertz. Ooh, this is FC. And an amplitude of 5 volts. AC. I'm just labeling so I can sort in my brain. The carrier wave is frequency modulated by a sinusoidal signal. So this is your information coming in. This is your signal coming in. And an amplitude of 1.5. The frequency deviation of the carrier wave is 20 kilohertz per volt. What is frequency deviation? If we go back to the graph earlier, we mentioned how the displacement affects the frequency of the signal, right? Okay, so this information is going to cause what we say a deviation of frequency. So say frequency deviation. Deviation means different law, you change a bit from original. Okay, so the displacement here causes a deviation in frequency because of its displacement law. Anyway, back to topic. Uh, determine for the frequency modulated carrier wave, the amplitude. So for our carrier wave, what's the amplitude? Didn't they just tell us the, the carrier wave amplitude? Ah yeah, got lah nah. they told us 5 volts. So just write here lah, 5.0 volt. It's given to us up there. So just copy and paste. If you want to draw it out, sure. Carrier wave, uh, what is this? 5.0 volt. Ooh, so from the middle, this is 5.0 volt. What's the frequency of our carrier wave? Let's draw this out. Why not 750 kilohertz? Now, what is the minimum frequency of our carrier wave? Mm. So we are adding what again? Ah? Oh, this is our carrier. We have our info wave. What is the info wave? Much lower frequency. That's given to us. Uh, the, the info is... What's the info idea? Ah, this is 7.5 kilohertz. And the amplitude also different a bit. So this fella's amplitude is a maximum of, what was it? Uh, 1.5 volts over here. Now remember what this 1.5 volts does? Okay, I remind you, uh, this displacement is going to affect the frequency of our carrier wave okay so the displacement of your info wave is going to affect the frequency and that's what they're asking you frequency ma your minimum maximum frequency so what is this change maximum displacement let's call this max displacement how do we convert votes to frequency hmm oh i know now this mysterious thing the frequency deviation 20 kilohertz per volt so if this is 1.5 volts, what's going to be my deviation of frequency? I just call this delta F. This is going to be 1.5 volt times 20 kilohertz per volt. How do I know it is correct or not? Firstly, I can see that volt and volt cancel out and I get kilohertz. Sure, why not? So 1.5 times 20 will give me 30 kilohertz. And that tells me that this 1.5, this displacement, is the largest and it will cause my final carrier wave. How to draw? Where to draw? Ah, ah I draw here. Lah. Final FM signal. Okay, it will change the frequency by 
thirty kilohertz, so and then slow again. Okay, so there's a difference in your frequency. So thirty oh. So what's the minimum? Ah? Okay, let's draw another graph here to remind ourselves. Our carrier is seven fifty. Nah, seven fifty. You could draw it in our frequency band kind of diagram. Frequency against amplitude or intensity. So this one is going to be our seven five zero in kilohertz. Largest ah, plus thirty minus thirty low. So you can think of this one as plus thirty minus thirty. So your largest frequency could be about uh seven eighty. Smallest about seven twenty. Okay, so mm, this diagram is just a rough way to help you think about it. Huh? Okay, it's not the same as your AM kind of diagram. Okay, so your maximum frequency that you can have is seven eighty. So that's right here, seven eight. Eh, sorry, minimum. Minimum is seven twenty. Next part, what's the maximum frequency? Ah, we just found it, seven eighty. Okay, if you're not sure how to bring this, never mind. Just memorize the idea. When you see this kilohertz per volt of your information signal, that will cause a change in frequency of your carrier wave. And that's what they're asking you a lot. What's the change in frequency of carrier? So I'm right, label here. Of carrier wave. This one. Mm, okay. Where do the marks come from? All this is all one mark, one mark here. So A1, A1, A1. Okay. FM is a bit more complicated, right? Your brain will have to twist a bit to brain this thing. But anyway, let's go to the last part. Find for the frequency modulated carrier wave, it means you already modulate, the number of times per second that the frequency changes from minimum to maximum value and back to the minimum value. Okay. So <laughs> go back to the graph in the beginning again, ah. Huh? Your info signal affects the frequency of your carrier wave of carrier. Okay, so you have high frequency, you have low frequency, okay, minimum to maximum, maximum to minimum. So it is maximum frequency, minimum frequency. And then your final signal will look like the one down here. Some place you have high frequency, some place you have low frequency. What's the time? Or rather, how many times per second will the frequency change from mean to max and back to mean? Uh, wait a second, ah. Mean to max and then back to mean. Oh, so this is one cycle. So we can think of it this way, lah. Your info, right? Info will have your displacement. This is our seven. What's it? Seven point five kilohertz. Okay, and this displacement here will affect. Basically, your frequency of carrier wave. Okay. So, how many times does it happen in one second? For one cycle. So, for from here all the way to here. Hey, wait a second. Times per second. That is second negative one. Isn't that hurts? So, if our frequency of this info is 7.5 hertz, this also means... 7500 cycles per second. That is the definition of Hertz. Ma. Hertz is also known as negative 1. As negative 1, the unit. So that means, this is a trick question. Why do they even ask this thing? Yeah. So in one second, it will travel 7500 7, times per second for your carrier wave to go from minimum to high. Okay, like this graph is wrong. Minimum to max and max to min. Let's redraw the graph. Ay, a minimum. Ah. That sounds like an upside down cosine graph. So you start off with minimum frequency, maximum back to minimum. Ah, this looks more correct. So you start from here to here. Okay, remember the displacement affects the frequency. Ah. So this is your info. Displacement affects frequency. Okay, 7,500 because that is how long, how many times per second for this uh, wave. Okay, this is one mark only. Everything all one mark, one mark. So this one, pause and look at it. Try to brain this a little bit more before we move on. Uh, but this is pretty much all they will ask you in 
uh, for calculations in AM and FM. So that's all for this video. In the next one, we will look at the comparison side by side of AM and FM and all the different different pros and cons of having each type of modulation being used. Okay, so that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.